Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this right here is everything that's wrong with 2K, right here. Where, you might ask? Right here. This is something that I saw that was put into the game today. Obviously, I guess it's because basketball season is about to start. And, you know, it's talking about, hey, you can be the guy, you can want it all, you know, start out small, do whatever, and you can become something successful. I think 2K should take their own advice on this one. Start out small, continue working, and, uh, you know, maybe one day they can become something successful because they're not there yet. And, uh, you know, maybe they're taking that approach with the actual game. The game is going to start out small and become something successful. Obviously, it's still a work in progress. Obviously, they're still making patches. Obviously, they don't think that we realize that they stealth patched this fucking game last night and uh, and thought we wouldn't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't notice it. Let me understand y'all something, 2K. Okay. People that don't play this game every day probably would never notice some of the stuff that you do. Some of the cricket and just underhanded and deceitful things that you all do. Like, <clears throat> let's, say, let's, say, let's just say, we knew everybody was going to buy VC this year. Why does it take like three times as long to get the same amount of VC this year than it did last year? Last year, you could play two 300-part games, something like that, and you have enough to, play, to, to make another player. In 2K16, you could play a couple hundred-part games. You had enough to make another player. You didn't even have to spend any VC unless you wanted to. Last year, like I said, you had the endorsements. You had all of that stuff. You could do it. This year, not only did you nerf VC to the point where, hold on. Not only did you nerf VC to the point where it's literally pointless to try to do something unless you can find some type of VC glitch or something like that. It's literally pointless trying to build your player from scratch. It is like me and Brutal Sam used to build a new player from 55 and we could get him up to like 99 or just whatever the highest cap was. We could do that in about two to three days or maybe a week and a half if we, if, you know, depending on how we were grinding. We could do that with no VC spent. Definitely did it a couple of times last year. But this year, you can't do that at all. You're going to be 60 overall. You're never going to get the ball. You're never going to get in the game. You won't be in the game long enough for them. Let me, let me put somebody in the game. You won't be in the game long enough for them to even make a difference. Like, like you'll, you'll get in the game, but what's going to happen? You're going to get in the game, and then you're not going to... Uh, you get in the game, you're not going to be able to play so even if you put it on 12 minute quarters, you're gonna play two or three minutes that game because you're not, you don't have a high overall. So my career is just not a viable option unless you really got money like that. And some people just don't have money like that to spend. It's ridiculous. I don't understand. Okay, that's fine. So if they had done that and dropped the price of VC, that would have been one thing, but they didn't do that. They raised the price of VC. Instead of $40 for like 200 grand, now it's like 50 bucks for 200 grand. And that don't make any sense at all. Like my mama said, that don't make nobody sense. It just doesn't. I don't understand. Let me leave this party real quick before I start this rant because I don't want uh, I don't want anybody to uh. That don't make nobody sense. Like my mama said. I understand. Like I said, that some people play this game, and they play it sparingly. And they just have fun. So they're going to come in and, and buy VC. They're going to get one character. So they know that they understand that from the jump that it's 110. And then they're going to go from there. But some people actually like to play the game. They like to experiment. They like to make more than one bill. You, y'all, you did like, okay. At the beginning of the game, this wasn't even a thing. We couldn't even see what this was. So you couldn't even reliably or intelligibly make a player that you wanted. You didn't know if you were going to make what you wanted. And then they passed this in. Okay, fine. But then after that, we're still at the same spot where the VC costs so much that the average kid can't even buy VC. This dude probably had this game. Let's look at Freaky. I bet. Let's see how many games he's played. This dude is a 76, a 78 overall. I bet he has been playing since launch. Oh, my God. They gave me somebody else. Okay, look at this. Let's look at Jeff. He probably has been playing since lunch. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he hasn't played. He's played 100 and some uh, NBA games. No part game. Okay, it's glitched out. Yeah, because that's not. That's, that's, that's cool. It can be glitched out. Why? 
because that's acceptable. We just accept anything that they throw at us. For at some point, we as the community, YouTubers, everybody, we have to come together and just say, dog, we're not accepting this anymore. And I don't even, I'm not even talking about microtransactions right now. I'm talking about how they keep patching the game and stealth patching the game and nobody, nobody just says anything. And they can't say anything because the average person that does YouTube doesn't play the game every day. I play this game every single day and I'm not pounding my chest. I am pounding my chest. I'm not saying that to be like, I'm better than you or I can do this more than you or I'm a, I'm, I'm a more credible source. I'm saying that I play the game every day so I notice every single change. Some of the stuff that they said last night. Look, they can change this right here. They can change this, but why can't they change this? Why? Why? Why is this on camera relative? Huh? Why is it on camera relative? You said that it, it wouldn't happen anymore, but it's on camera relative. You know how many games you can lose off of this intensely being on and it's on camera relative? People don't even know how many games you can lose off of intensely being on. Why am I contesting these shots, but they're not being contested? Because 2K told you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be able to, if you if you use it, uh, it, it, intense D to contest shots, it's not gonna work, and that's fine. But the thing is, if you keep turning it on, why do I have to check this every single time? This was in the patch notes that this wouldn't happen again, and it happens all the time. It's only happened every time I played the game. So, hey, good job, 2K. Not only that, but they said that centers would not hit the ball off the backboard anymore. It happens nearly every time I go for a reverse to the point where I'm afraid to go for a reverse because I might cost my team a turnover. What else did they say? They said that, they said that, uh, I, I can't even think of what the third thing they said. What they said, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. I, I'm so distraught, I can't even think of what the third thing that they said was. They said that, that, that the controls would not go. You wouldn't hit the ball off the backboard. Oh, yeah, they said that the, the catches in the corner would be more reliable. As soon as we threw the, the first play of the game today, threw the ball to my man. Boom, ball out of bounds. Catch is unreliable. I don't understand what this game is. They keep saying they fix things. They keep saying they patch things. And it's obvious that they're incapable of making a complete game. I don't know if it's because of segregation of departments. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because they don't have people to do these things or they rotate. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have, okay, we're going to work on park here. We're going to work on pro app and then we're going to work on this and then we're going to move on to the next thing. I don't understand what it is, but why you all are incapable of making a game that works? It escapes me. You have billions off this, millions of dollars off this game and we can't get a working game. It's a travesty. It does not make sense that we can't get a working game. And some of the things that I noticed this morning with that title update or the stealth patch that they did or whatever, you can patch a VC glitch, you can stealth patch a VC glitch, you can stealth patch anything that's gonna cost you money, right? The VC glitch, oh, that's gone, but the hotspot glitch still here. Nobody cares about that. I'm cool with the hotspot glitch because nobody should have to play 462 my career games just to get hotspots. So I'm cool with that. I don't care about that. But the, the one minute quarter glitch, the, you know, they took that out of the game. It took them weeks to get that out of there. The contact dunks glitch took them week. I mean, it took them at least a week and a half to get out of there. The um, 20 minute quarter glitch, it took at least three weeks to get it out of there. But that VC glitch, anything that says VC glitch, that's gone instantly. So that tells me that y'all can fix the game. But the things that y'all did with the sliders this morning, this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable what you did with the sliders this morning. And a lot of y'all haven't even played this game today. So y'all don't even know the state that it's in right now. Number one, you can't hit jump shots right now. You can, obviously you can. Like, obviously you can hit jump shots. I'm still shooting over 50 to 60%. But it's much harder to hit jump shots. I wouldn't care about that because that will make the player that's a sharpshooter have to actually know how to play right. But the problem with that is they're letting sharpshooters finish at the rim at a higher rate than they were. So you nerf one part of them to make them balance, but now everybody can finish at the rim. Everybody, I haven't gotten one block this morning. Not even one. We're losing games because I can't get a block. The interior defense is abysmal right now. You can't play defense. But, okay, so I, I see where they were going. They were like, hey, since you cannot play defense and we don't have the ability to fix that, what do they do? They said, hey, this is what we will do. We'll just make it so that uh, we're, we're gonna nerf big men dunking on people and then 
we're gonna make it so that the interior defense is uh you know big men can't dunk on people anymore and so hey we'll make it so that big men can't just dominate the paint so they completely have nerfed big men if you're a guard if you're a small forward or anything, you're blocking people's shots still. You're doing everything. If you're a big man right now, it seems like I can't block any shots. My timing ain't bad, man. You have to look at my stats. Look at You can't even look at my stats, man. Can we look at Pro-Am stats? We got Pro-Am stats on here. Play Pro-Am. Uh, 28 and... Blocks per game, one. 1 1.03 blocks a game, okay? Almost a steal a game. All these assists, all these rebounds. This is what I do, and I don't even play on my center all the time. So... I'm telling you, when I'm telling you that I cannot block shots, I can't time them anymore, I can't do anything. Dude, you see I just made this dude last week? You see these badges that I got? I didn't get these in practice, man. I got these playing the game. I have silver rim protected, silver chase down artists. I can't block a shot this morning. And that would be fine if it was a big man ducking on me. But now the interior defense is so abysmal that Anonymous was in the paint, right? A guard came straight down Broadway. He got his hands up, both hands. Boom! He just get dunked on. Fine. We not even mad about that. Anonymous come back down court. He's got his big man. He's rolling to the rim. A guard is in the paint. They make him lay the ball up. All he did was lay the ball up and straight missed it. That has nothing to do with skill. That's all sliders. This was not happening yesterday. A 7-3 a 7-3 driving and dunking rebounder should not be getting stopped at the rim by a guard when a guard can dunk on a 7-3. Bigs are getting dunked on, okay? But bigs cannot protect themselves in the paint. So they nerfed bigs so that they couldn't dunk on everybody in the paint. But then... Instead of nerfing it so they couldn't just dunk on other bigs at will, they nerfed it so that bigs can't dunk on anybody now. If there's a guard down there, you're not dunking on him. I promise you. Man Man has his other guy, his slashing shot creator. You see the amount of bodies that this man catches. He couldn't dunk on a guard to save his life today. Big man, poster. But guards, nah. He wasn't dunking on those. But that's fine. I just don't understand why they keep changing the game. Sharpshooters can't shoot, but now they can finish at the rim because everybody can finish at the rim except big men. That's what they've done. Big men can't dunk, but anybody can finish at the rim. I can't block shots anymore. I don't know why. You can't shoot reliably anymore. I mean, pure sharpshooters aren't able to shoot reliably. They alter shooting. I can still shoot, but the problem is why do you change one thing and then fundamentally break the game? So now sharpshooters that shouldn't have been able to go to the hole can go to the hole when they can't shoot. Dude had a two-way sharpshooter. I couldn't block his shot even once. And it's not because he was nice. All he was doing was turboing at the rim and just banging. And that's the same thing that I do every single day. I block all these shots all the time. I wish I could see my park blocks. I probably averaged two or three blocks in the park. So now we, you know what? I can't even talk about this no more, man. I want to stop this video so bad, but I just can't because it's just too much stuff that needs to be fixed with this game. The game is not eSports ready when a sharpshooter can go into the paint and dunk on three people and a fucking big man that's supposed to dunk on the whole world, he can't dunk. It should have never been like that in the first place where they could just stand and dunk, stand and dunk, stand and dunk the entire game. It should have never been like that. But you released the game like that. So we adapted to it. And now nobody that's big can dunk anymore. But sharp shooters can finish at the rim. Everybody can finish at the rim. Chano can finish at the rim to save his life yesterday. And now he's dunking on people with a pure sharp shooter, 6'6". Six, six. It don't matter who down there. He's dunking on them. Or he's finishing with an acrobatic layup. And he couldn't do it to save his life yesterday. So you telling me that he just got all of a sudden just got better overnight? Or is it the sliders? You tell me which one it is. It doesn't make sense that they keep changing this game for no reason. We adapted to it. But sharpshooters can stick, man. I'm done, man. 2K, you need to get your act together. Because this ain't cool. You keep changing the game. Every time you change it, 
we are going to adapt to it and we're going to figure out how to play it. But this latest set of changes where bigs can't affect. First off, it was already hard enough to play defense as a big in this game anyway. It was already hard. And that made it look easy. And now all of a sudden, I can't get any block shots. I can't even influence people going to the basket. When they run into me, they run straight into me with my, and I got my hands up. And, and what happens? Boom, they go right by contact layup. No relentless finisher because he's a pure, he was a pure, a pure point guard playmaker. Dude was hitting drifting shots, finishing over me, finishing over anonymous, running into me, doing everything. I couldn't influence his shot. And this is in Pro-Am. This ain't even on the park. The park is trash. I don't care about the park. In Pro-Am, he was doing this. Why was he allowed to do this in Pro-Am where it's supposed to be tougher? Obviously, you, y'all need to get somebody out there to test the game, man. Like I said, man. And then ankle breaker is crazy too because my dude, my dog, the point guard, um, he was toes up eight times in one game off of a simple snatch back. All dude was doing was snatching back. Boom, he on his ass. Boom, he on his ass. Like, what is this? Why? Who thought this was a good idea? Why is this? A, why is this even a thing in basketball? People that aren't supposed to be able to finish at the rim are finishing at a rim at the rim at a higher rate than people that are literally in the paint and supposed to finish at the rim. If you got a big, did they just destroy bigs this morning? You tell me. So they destroyed shooting, but they also destroyed bigs. So now anybody can go to the hole. Regardless of what the archetype is, regardless of who's down there, you can go to the hole right now in this game. What's this? October 17th. You can go to the hole right now in this game, regardless of who's in the hole. I should walk around here to the park and let's just see. People are finishing inside. It doesn't matter. We literally played three sharpshooters, three pure sharpshooters this morning. And they were all finishing at the rim. No, no, dude was a two-way. I ain't going to tell you that lie. They were all sharpshooters. Everybody was finishing at the rim at a high rate. The game has gotten to the point where you don't even have to think anymore. Look at this. Look at this. You can't even see who drifting. Okay, now I can see who's driven. Look at that. Drifter. That's not going in. It doesn't matter, man. None of this even matters. The only thing that matters is, can you stop changing the game? Look at this. Finish inside. Dunked on. And that's a guard. I guarantee that's not a center. I guarantee that that is not a center. All right, F you pay me. Let's check it out. Look at that. F you pay me. Let's check it out. Let's see what F you pay me is. I guarantee he's not a center. He might be a center. That's a Liberty Guard down there. F you pay me is a 6'7 power forward. I told you. I guarantee. But the centers are not able to finish inside. Look, he's gonna pull up. Take that awful shot. Look at the state of this game. Look at, look at the look at the type of play it promotes. They even said you weren't even gonna be able to spam people anymore. People spamming their ass off. You don't even have to play defense in this game on the park. That's why I'm like, I can't even play this. Because this is ridiculous. This is this does not make sense. And like I said, if you got a big man, man, y'all let me know. I know I just ran it and got all the way off topic. Trust me, it has nothing to do with my skill at this game. I'm better than most people at this dang on game. I already know that. I shoot threes at a 60% clip with the 83 ball. And I don't even, look at that! He just finished inside over three people! He just finished inside over three people. What is his name, Preston something? He just finished inside over three people. Let's keep looking. Look, he just finished over the center inside. What is this? Maybe he didn't jump. All right, let's look, let's look, let's look. Preston, Preston Quinn, let's look. He just finished inside, sharp shooting slasher. Okay, fine, fine. Sharp shooting slasher. So that means he's a slasher first. Okay, we'll give you that. I'll give you that. But if you pay me, just finished inside too. On like five people. What is F you pay me? Backwards, too. Maybe he got slashing in his, too. He might got slashing in his, too. Playmaking shot, Craig. I'm done. He just finished inside backwards over three people. Center, right in his face. Jump shot, cash. We can patch all this bull into the game, but we can't patch contests into the game. Contesting a man's shot means absolutely nothing. Even if you turn off Intense D, but you don't even know if you turned off Intense D because when you turn it off, it's right back on. It doesn't matter. He just finished over again. It's Redwood. Maybe Redwood tree, man. I don't even care anymore, man. I just think that 
regardless of if somebody's a slasher or not, you shouldn't be finishing over people that are already in good position two-way shot create. I'm asleep. And he just finished over three. I don't understand this, man. Look at this. Inside. Right. This is what the game has devolved to right here because nobody can shoot. It's not the fact that we can't shoot because I can still shoot. Salsa can still shoot. Man Man can still shoot. Everybody can still shoot. But if I come out here and play with randoms, this is what the game is going to be like. Everybody's just trying to go inside because nobody can shoot. And then if you do see somebody take a shot, you just take, you just run out. You just run out because you think that the game is going to be, look at this, look at this, look at this. He's going to drive. Nobody's going to look over the center. And one. Oh, okay. Well, at least he didn't finish that. Anyway, man, I'm ranting now. I'm just to the point where I can't take the game anymore. Even I expect this chicanery and nonsense to go on out here at the park. But in Pro-Am, it shouldn't happen, man. These stealth patches have to stop. I was going to edit in the stuff, man. I ain't editing in nothing, man. This is just a straight-up rant, and I'm sorry. I was going to show y'all when dude got drive. If y'all want to see it, come to the stream, man. Y'all come over there. But I'm gone, man. I can't deal with this no more. This game is in shambles. It's bad. Look at this. He going to finish over. Look, still finished over. It doesn't matter, man. The game is bad. So now we're back to the point where if you're if you're anything that got slashing in your name, watch, he's not going to finish over. Watch, watch. Look, he couldn't even, a, a week ago, he would have gone up for a dunk and banged that on him. What's this? Rag! Okay, he did it just now. Put back, King. Put back. I bet he got put back. I bet he got put back, King. I guarantee that's the only way. I guarantee that's the only way he was able to do that. Because I'm telling you, when Anonymous did that, I guarantee that he got to have put back, King. That's the only reason he went back up. Pure shot! Pure post score! What? Okay, so that's why he wasn't really going up down there. It is what it is, man. I, I don't care. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, I knew he had put back, King. That's the, only reason. that's the only way you're going back up now. If you're a center. Like I said, man, centers are broken. All this stuff is broken. I don't care about the game anymore. If you see me on the park and you beat me on the park, it don't mean anything because obviously, obviously, number one, it's a video game. But number two, we see how broken the game is right now. These dudes can't even... Oh, it's 12. It wasn't. I thought they are trying to end the game. This game should have been over by now. But I guess they... Tra and they're in, first off, you put pure sharpshooters in the game that can make any shot. And then you want to nerf shooting as a whole. But... I'm done, man. I can't, I can't talk about this no more, man. These guys, these developers are, are literally incapable of making a good game, and it's not their fault because I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that there are some underlying factors there. You know, investors don't care. They're not going to help them out. They're not going to put any more money into the game. They have their budget, and that's all. They probably got their budget, and then they got enough money for like five or six patches, man. But, but all the stuff, but, but probably with a, with a proviso that if, if there's anything where it affects the in-game currency, that should be fixed immediately. But anything else don't need to be fixed, though. But it is what it is, man. They do this so much. They change the slider so much. And they just like, like, what was wrong? Interior defense been busted the whole time, so why would you turn it down, turn it down even further? Interior defense has been... Why would you raise the success rate of people finishing that? I don't care, man. I'm gone. Y'all get the picture, man. Y'all know what it is. Let me know if you played this game this morning and it just feels completely different. You're missing wide open shots. You're missing, you know, people are finishing at the rim that shouldn't be able to finish at the rim. If you got a big man, you can't block shots anymore. You can't dunk on anybody anymore. The controls are trash. Chase downs ain't working no more. I mean, sharps are finishing at the rim over people. Hey, they can't shoot. It doesn't matter because they can finish at the rim now. So it is. I'm gone, man. I can't deal with this. I'm